so Supersonic was the first gold record. Mm-hmm. Gold Ruthless. record, single, and album. Single, yeah. and album. Uh-huh. Got nominated for a Grammy yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, fr- yeah. The, the oh, Fresh Prince beat him out. Yeah. yeah. So did that start to bring kind of the money into the label to start like financing all the other projects? Um, I don't roll. I, I didn't deal with the money part. Mm-hmm. I know once we did that album, then it was time for NWA. We just, right. no, it was time for the Easy e album. Right. the next one. Yeah. Exactly. And by this time, Jerry Heller was in the mix. Yeah, he got there after the Boys and Hood and all that, and right before the J.J. Fadden stuff, he pulled him from, because he was with the Wrecking Crew just on the tail end. Mm-hmm. So they hooked up, and you know he knew his game and stuff, so he got it going, too. I mean, what was your relationship with Jerry Heller? I mean, he was cool at the time. I mean, I had nothing, nothing against him. Nothing at all. I mean, he he knew his stuff. I mean, he didn't ever come to the studio. He didn't he didn't see none of that. Never been in the studio. Oh, he I. he would never be in the studio. No. Oh, okay. No. no. So I mean, he just I mean, it was all right, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen, I've interviewed a lot of people around the NWA story. You mm-hmm. know, Arabian Prince hates him. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Uh, JJ Fad that, I didn't thought he was great. Yeah. Michelle yeah. A thought he was great. Yeah. Uh, you know, depending on who you talk to, I mean, you're he get a did story. his thing, but it was just he was smarter than us, wiser than us, and it's just like you're getting paid off of two ends. Right. You're getting twenty percent of the group, and you're getting twenty percent of the label. Mm-hmm. So who do we talk to if we want to discuss? Money with E, which was the label. So it was like, it's a conflict of interest. We double, didn't know that. He was double dipping. <laughs> yeah. Probably was, making more than we was making. Probably. Probably. Well, 20% off the top of the label. I mean, think about that. Yeah. And Sheesh. then you're getting 20% off. off yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's double dipping for real. Yep. Uh, okay. So then, well, first was the NWA and the Posse album. Right, which well, is sort of a thrown together songs. Yeah. Well, that was that was already done kind of in the Boys in the Hood day. Mm-hmm. That's when Dre was dealing with the Feel of Fresh crew because it was all singles from other groups and stuff. But Priority ended up picking that up after we did some albums and they put it in the middle instead of waiting for another album. Mm-hmm. They brung that one out like it was another album. Like we really did an album and we didn't do nothing. They just put it out again, and it went gold, so. Well, yeah, no, I remember, you know, when I first got introduced to, you know, the Easy e album, mm-hmm. before Straight Outta Compton came out, I was just playing the N.W.A. and the Posse album. Oh, that's really? Not, that, that's all we had, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, we're we're waiting for the, the big album to come out, yeah. but, but this N.W.A. and the Posse has some songs that we yeah. hadn't heard before, so yeah. we're... Yeah, they was like... Some of the songs was B-sides of the singles yeah. and stuff like that. 